In this video, we're going to talk about how to render using Deep Image from Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this video, I'm using the Muscle Ship C4D scene. So if we take a look at what's going on in the scene here, I'll go to the default camera. You can see that I have sort of our little spaceport here, and we have a spaceship. If I go to quick shading, it's easier to see. There we go. We can see our spaceship and our little spaceport geometry. So this is a 3D scene, and you can render this as a 2D image in the deep image format, and it will contain depth information. And this is useful if you're going to use the image to composite in a pro compositing program such as Nuke. So for example, I have the same image. This is rendered out using Octane in the deep image format, and you can see here in Nuke, it looks like a 3D scene, but it's actually a 2D image. This is not an OBJ or an FBX or anything like that. It's actually an EXR image that contains depth information. Okay, so how do you go about doing this? What you want to do is you need to export the scene from Cinema 4D in the Orbix format. Now we have a separate movie that explains the steps for doing that, but essentially you go into Octane Live Viewer window and render the scene and then choose File, Export to Package Orbix. If it's an animated scene, it has a frame sequence, then you can use animated package, but normally you could just use this for still frames. So once you've exported that in the Orbix format, then you can go to uh, Octane Standalone. So if I go into Octane Standalone, I'll select the render target here, and you can see here we have the scene rendered from that same camera. And this is a 3D scene. And the next thing I want to do is go to the uh, kernel. In this case, I'm using the direct light kernel. And you want to use either direct lighting kernel or path tracing, not PMC. So if I select a direct light kernel, I'll go down here in the settings and turn on deep image. And then we have two options here, max depth samples and depth tolerance. So max depth samples, this means how many samples for the depth of the image, not necessarily the image quality, but the depth quality. So obviously, the more samples you have, the uh, more points you'll have in the final render. And then depth tolerance is the space between points. If it's below this tolerance, the points will be merged into a single point. So you can adjust those as needed. And once you have this turned on, then you'll want to go to uh, script batch rendering. And in the batch rendering settings, make sure you set as an EXR 32-bit, either untone mapped or tone mapped, whichever you prefer, but make sure it's 32-bit EXR. So choose your output folder, choose your samples for the image, image quality samples, and then make sure that you turn on save additional deep image. You can save passes if you want, you don't necessarily have to do that, but make sure you do turn on save deep additional deep image, then press start. It'll take a few moments and then it'll render and it'll tell you when it's finished. And then you can take the finished image into Nuke. And in this case, I've used the deep read node in Nuke. So if I press tab here and type in deep, you can see here are all the deep image nodes. And I've just created a very simple comp that uses deep read plugged into a deep two points node and then I have a camera connected, and that's connected to the viewer, and then I can see the deep image as it appears in Nuke. 